how y'all doing? We're here at a place, uh, I can't remember the name of the creek at this moment. I fished here last year. This is a well-pressured creek. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but I fish a lot of well-pressured creeks because I want to make it more realistic for you guys. I could easily, easily go to a stock stream and even follow the stock schedule or whatever and go to stream and catch an, I don't know, limited fish or more or all day long, give you guys a long video of me catching a bunch of fish. But that's not realistic. The fact is, is you don't always get that opportunity. I fish all year long. So to make it more realistic, I go where it's hard to catch fish. Not easy. Not where you can just put a worm on a hook or a wax worm on a hook or a mealworm or a live bait and put a minnow and all of a sudden, bam, there you got a fish. Like that. I don't do that. I go where you got to find the fish where it's difficult. Ones that are smart enough to last this long. The difficult ones. Because that will get you more fish if you can learn how to do that. So... What we're going to do is we're going to see what's in there. I haven't fished yet this year in 2019 in this stream. Last year I got hit pretty hard, but I did get, sorry about that. I did get a couple good ones. So let's see what happens. Let's see if we can get a fish. Got to give a shot. There's got to be fish in here still. Um, they're not that dumb. And it's a, there's some current breaks and stuff. People don't really fish. So we'll start where it's real slow and we'll work our way upstream. I got an hour of fishing I can do. So let's see what happens. Stay tuned. Let's do it. Spot to get to. Right down there is where it's mostly pressured, but you can fish up above it. And there's a nice little current right here. And I love this current. So then there's one there too, which we'll get to. So I'm gonna try to bobber this. I don't know how well this will go. We shall see. It's got it pretty good. And then I got enough lead that I can go ahead and lift the bobber barely above and kind of work the bait. Let's see if I can get something to come out and get it. There we go. What we get? Oh boy. It's a little trout. That's a small trout. Look at that little rainbow. Look at that little guy. He come up out of them rocks. That's what I'm talking about. Oops. Little baby, look at that. That's probably the smallest trout I've ever caught in my life. Pretty colors though. Pretty colors. Let's let him go. There he goes. All right. All right, here we go. Remember, trout looks upstream, so they might not see anything down there. If he's under the tree, he might come up and get what I have. Oh, one just missed it. There's one. There we go. There's another one in there. There's another little one in there like this. Man, these babies are in here. Little yearlings. Come on, Bubby. Chill, chill, chill. There you go. There's another one in there. You guys see him? I'm just going to toss him in. He'll swim right away. Okay. I seen one come up and miss it. May not have my glasses, but I still seen it. Oh, of course. I didn't check my rod. I made a mess. One. Come on, baby. That's why you don't get in a hurry. See, I got in a hurry, and look what happens. Then I won't finesse it right. Okay, here we go. I'm going back in. Like I said, I seen another little one in there. He, he missed it, and then the other one got it. Here we go. There's another one. That's a better one. That's not that little one. What do we have here? Oh my, that's a brown, that's a beautiful brown, look at that, come here brown, somebody said about my channel, catch browns, look at that, that's in a stream, that's a brown, and he tried to tell me I had to wear camo, <laughs> wearing a green fat man fishing shirt, look at that beautiful brown, you don't need to be in camo, incognito, you just kind of got to hide behind structures and use them, you stay in the bank, alright, let's get him back. I told you there's gonna be fishing here, and we fish all right down here, and it's nice, beautiful. But they're sitting in front of this tree because they look upstream. That's it. A trout looks upstream. You could be shooting right behind them, which is what I was doing, and not get nothing. It doesn't mean there ain't fishing there. Get to the other side. It makes all the difference in the world. Let's see if we can get another one. We got him to come up. I think we can get another little one. I don't think we'll get another good size one. 
That's probably it for good size ones. Okay, I can see my lure now. Oh, well, the little one just went up and bit it and I missed him. Okay, I'm gonna move just a couple feet. Try to shoot a different angle. See, I went a little bit down. So if there's any fish down below, he might want to try to get that. Okay, see that little son of a gun? We'll get it again. There he is. Look how little that thing was. <laughs> what is this, a chub? <laughs> Catch of the day right there. That's what it is. A little chub, a little shiner chub. He kept coming and getting it. I knew eventually get him. All right. <laughs> 